It's a cautionary example for car buyers. After a flood, some sellers might try to pass cars off as good as new, but flood damaged vehicles are not safe. Car coach Lauren Fix explains what to look for before you drive off the lot. While most flooded cars are sold for parts, many end up sold as used cars to unsuspecting buyers. Some of these guys are doing a really good job cleaning up these cars to make them very hard to identify as flood vehicles. They're cleaning them in a lot of places where you wouldn't expect to. But according to automotive expert Lauren Fix, there are things you can look for that can actually tip you off. The nice thing about looking at a salvage yard is you can really get a close-up look about things like fuse boxes because if you open the fuse box of any car, it should be nice and clean. It should definitely not look like this. This is dirt and mud. This tells you you've got a flood damaged car and don't buy it. Look for moisture and dirt in exterior lights and rust in places you wouldn't normally see it, like hinges. Pull out the engine air filter and take a look at the bottom of the housing. If you see mud and dirt, that's not good. Also, look for signs of mold and mud caked on top of the engine or hoses. But the biggest concern may be what you can't see, damaged safety features. You won't know that till you're in an accident and those passive safety things like airbags and all those sensors won't work. They could even leave your vehicle stopping with for no reason in the middle of the highway. Always try to find the car's history by checking the reporting agency, like Carfax or with the manufacturer. If it came from a flooded area, watch out. And always have the car checked by an ASE certified mechanic. When it comes to flood damaged cars, I always say buyer beware. Do your homework, don't purchase the car and then have it checked out. Have it checked out, then make your decision. Remember, if a deal is too good to be true, it probably is. That's our Reynolds Wolf, Wolf reporting with the help of car expert Lauren Fix and some great advice there. Boy, never thought about the air filter. Just opening no. that up and the clues are right there. Yeah, a lot of the, the pieces come together, but I'm not as car savvy as Lauren, so luckily I've got her. But now we know.